I've just got a few quick Splatoon 3 news topics to cover in this video. Hopefully this will not take up too much of your time, but yeah, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button to keep up to date with Splatoon 3 news. So this first topic was made aware to me by Oatmeal Dome. So Splatoon 3, there will only be one copy going worldwide, not like how it was in the first and second game, there was a version for North America, a version for Europe and a version for Japan as well. Australia, they will get the European version. For Splatoon 3, we will only be getting one worldwide version. It will have full language support, I do believe. This is a big change and hopefully if we do get DLC for Splatoon 3, it will mean that we will not get DLC conflicts like what we did get for Octo Expansion DLC where say like if you got the North American copy of the game and you bought the Octo Expansion DLC from your European account you will not be able to play the Octo Expansion DLC so this worldwide version will solve that problem but this could mean big changes for Splatfest because normally we will get regional Splatfest so Japanese audience will get a Splatfest topic suited to them but because we are only getting one worldwide version does this mean that regional Splatfest will be gone and everybody will be getting the same Splatfest topics. This could also mean the end for regional exclusive DLC which was a big problem where pretty much the Japanese version will get stuff like the Koro Koro spy gear they will get exclusive gear that us in the West wouldn't be able to get. So does this mean the end of regional exclusive gear? Will that stuff be in Splatoon 3 or will it just be taken out and we will not get stuff from the Koro Koro magazine? We will get gear in collaboration with Famitsu with Koro Koro. Will we see that in Splatoon 3? The file size for the game will be 6 gigabytes. 500 megabytes more than what Splatoon 2 was at launch. To end this video, a couple of quick topics and some people think that this screenshot means that we will be getting full eyebrow customization. Hopefully that will be the case. And some people have noticed numbers next to people's names and people are thinking that maybe it means Discord support for Splatoon 3. I'm not so sure, I think it's just like an internal number within Nintendo just for testing the game out. So that's pretty much it with this video. I will see you in another one soon.